using Google Classroom to give a Google Doc, a Google Slide, a Google Sheet, a Google Drawing, and then giving feedback to your students with inserted comments. I really enjoy uh, the ability and using this feature in Docs, Slides, Sheets, Drawings, etc. This example right now is a student uh, that I've made in a fake classroom and a fake student. Uh, you can see the work on one side for the student and the work that I'm also working on here in the teacher view to where when I select things on the left, you can see how it interacts as the student view on the right. So inserting a comment, the how. First, find text that you want to select. Use your mouse, left click, hold, drag to select the text, release. Next go to insert comment and when you've done this you can insert the words that show up here as kind of a think of it like a digital post-it note is how I make sense of it in my head so your words go here and then the student sees the words here from you the teacher all right so Here's what I think uh, are some good ways to use this. First off, inserting the comments. One, I start off small. So, the suggestion I'm making is start small. Don't have and spend lots and lots of time putting tons and tons of comments, especially if you teach uh, more intermediate grades like second, third, fourth, fifth grade. Um, start small with one or two comments and expect students to fix items from there. Same thing even into the high school level. Start small with it. All right. Next, I have found good success with this system. When it comes to comments, I ask and come up with comments, questions, and commands. And the last part is I expect a reply. Now again, going back to what I had said earlier, start small. So if I was thinking for the idea of a third or fourth grade classroom, I might have it to where the writing starts with compliments. So I would go here to the writing that the student had done, select some of the text, insert the comment, and type a compliment. Good work. You used complete sentences. There is a capital letter would be a separate comment. You used capital letters at the beginning of your sentences. Okay. Now the expectation I have of my students is this. They see that they have these two comments over here. I expect a compliment to receive a thanks, or a thank you, or a smiley face, or a heart, or something. I expect a back and forth reply with the biggest idea that feedback is meant to go from the teacher to the student to cause an improvement and progress on the student's work. So to get to that point, the student has to understand that they need to read the feedback, think about the work they're doing here, and then either keep doing that work in future journals and writings and such, or change that work immediately and start to change their habits going forward. All right. So again, I go back to the idea. I start with compliments, questions, and commands. We've already covered the compliment. Would receive a thanks. Question would receive an answer. Command would receive a got it in the reply 
and then the writing, the work, looks different, whatever you commanded to do. I, uh, at the elementary level, and even in the high school, the elementary uh, level, it's common to ask students to put periods at the end of their sentences. So the expectation would be that the student would actually go in and say, got it, and then put periods at the end of their sentences. All right. So inserting comments is pretty easy. You select the text, insert comment is the how to. Once you have that blank box that's over here, you type the words you want. I recommend starting small. I recommend the idea of compliments, questions, commands, and then expect a reply. And then starting small, that your reply is going to be the compliment has a thank you. The question has an answer. The command has a got it and a actual change in the work. I have found some good success in doing this with using Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Sheets, and Google Drawings.